these epidemic events are getting more and more disruptive um, to, to health and to economy. And the reason we called it Event 201 is we knew eventually one of those days, one of those events would be the big one. And that big one would really challenge our capacity to respond. And to respond to the big one, we do need to have all hands on deck. Participants are confronted by a hypothetical scenario that um, presents to them the challenges of a response. So we will say, here's a hypothetical disease outbreak. This is the way it might be evolving. And these are some of the challenges that you'll see uh, that you'll have to address to, to address um, the disruptions that you're seeing to your healthcare system or to your, to your organization. stakeholders realize pretty quickly just how underprepared we are and just how much is possible when we work together. And that the individual actions of any government or company won't add up to a proper global response. I think if we're honest with ourselves, collectively, the international community has never done enough to respond to global health security challenges. That we knew before COVID that the world was underprepared for biological risk. When we walked into the room in New York, if you would have asked, are you, do you think the world is prepared for a pandemic? I think everyone around that table would have said no. But it's when they walked out I think it's when we really knew that if we are going to get ready, we need to have operationalized and integrated public-private cooperation that we haven't seen before.